the Alaska Zoo in Anchorage. Nearly 200,000 visitors tour these grounds every year. Normally, the roars of Siberian tigers and howls of wolves fill the air. But today, a different sound rises above all others. The sound of sheer terror. A tourist is caught in the jaws of an 850-pound polar bear. Oh the 29-year-old woman hopped two safety barriers to get a closer picture of the beast. Big mistake. Now, her left thigh is being skewered by the bear's massive canines. With handlers minutes away, bystanders rip off tree branches and try to save the helpless woman. Now, grab a branch and take the place of a would-be rescuer. Would you know how to save this woman from the jaws of death? What would you do? A, use the branch to pry open the bear's mouth. B, beat the sticks on the ground or shake them above the bear's head. Or C, assert your dominance and strike at the bear's face. Here's what you should consider. Armed with a flimsy branch, you're within reach of an apex predator and desperately trying to save a helpless victim from its killer grasp. The world's largest carnivore on land, the polar bear is a king among beasts. It can grow over nine feet long and weigh over a thousand pounds. Its paws, up to 12 inches long, are equipped with razor sharp claws that can grow over two inches long. And its nearly two inch canines are perfectly adapted to kill prey. And right now, those massive canines are just inches away from the victim's femoral artery. One wrong shake of its mighty head, and she could bleed out in just minutes. With the woman's life on the line, it's now or never. Make your choice. A. B. Or C. So, what would you do? With the tourist's femoral artery just inches away from lacerating canines, you could reach for a branch and try to pry open the bear's jaws. Polar bears are built for power. Its bite can come down with a force of nearly 1,200 pounds, enough to snap a femur. And since bone can be up to four times stronger than concrete, your flimsy branch doesn't stand a chance. Try to pry open this bear's jaws, and you'll just leave a bad taste in its mouth. If prying the animal's jaws open isn't the answer, maybe you need to beat it on the head to get it to let go. Polar bears have what researchers call behavioral inertia. Meaning, once they set their minds to something, like hunting or feasting, good luck breaking their focus. Plus, you don't become the king of the Arctic by backing away at the first sign of a struggle. In fact, polar bear males frequently fight for fun. And considering those 12-inch paws can release enough power to kill a whale, they're used to taking licks much stronger than anything you can dish. So what should you do? 
Believe it or not, your best chance at getting the bear to back off in this scenario could be to beat the sticks against the ground or shake and wave them above its head. Researchers in the Arctic have proven this to be an effective method. Although the reasoning is not fully clear, some researchers believe that this action may mimic the movement of a walrus raising and lowering its deadly tusks. One of the few things in the wild that polar bears actually need to be careful of. Because for a hunter, in an unforgiving landscape, any injury that slows you down is as good as a death sentence. Mimicking the action of a walrus's thrashing tusks may very well be your best option. Of course, the experts agree that if you're the victim of a polar bear attack, all bets are off, and you should fight for your life any way you can. Thankfully for this woman, the bear decides to let go. She suffers severe lacerations and a broken leg. But considering how much damage could have been done, she's lucky, very lucky, to be alive.